Chemical reactions are, by definition, the motion of electrons that accompany the making and or breaking of chemical bonds. Since every chemical reaction is associated with some transfer of heat energy, that is enthalpy, then the making and breaking of chemical bonds must involve changes in enthalpy. We can use this fact to help us calculate enthalpy changes for chemical reactions if we know specifically which bonds are made and broken. To begin, we need to remember that bonds are relatively stable things. They represent a potential energy minimum for a pair of electrons, a place where they are happy to be. So in order to break a chemical bond, we need an input of energy. That is, bond breakage is endothermic. Conversely, and this is a little bit less intuitive, whenever we form a chemical bond, energy is released. Bond formation is exothermic. Every type of bond has a characteristic strength or an amount of potential energy contained in that bond. That is, the amount of energy required to break it. This is called the bond enthalpy, or bond energy. Carbon-oxygen single bonds, for instance, have an average bond enthalpy of about 351 kilojoules per mole, while carbon-oxygen double bonds have an average enthalpy of about 745 kilojoules per mole. So, if we know the chemical structures of the reactants and products in a chemical reaction, and we can identify which specific bonds are made and broken, we can calculate the reaction enthalpy using the equation delta H reaction equals the sum of the bond energies of the bonds broken minus the sum of the bond energies of the bonds formed. We can use this approach even if we aren't completely sure which specific bonds are made and broken provided we know the structures of the reactants and products. The reaction enthalpy is just the sum of the bond energies of the reactants minus the sum of the bond energies of the products. There are two additional ways to calculate reaction enthalpy, which we will use much less frequently in Chem 202, but you should still be aware of. The first is by using something called Hess's Law which says that if you know the enthalpies of two reactions, then if you add the reactions together, the enthalpy of the new reaction is the sum of the enthalpies of the two original reactions. The final way to calculate reaction enthalpy is from something called heats of formation, delta HF. These are tabulated values for specific compounds and they reflect the heat transferred when one mole of that compound is formed from its constituent elements in their most stable states under normal conditions of one atmosphere of pressure. The equation is that reaction enthalpy equals the sum of the heats of formation of products minus the sum of the heats of formation of reactants taking into account their respective stoichiometric coefficients.